Hollywood is always paving over its history. Buildings, landmarks, entire studios have been leveled to the ground to make room for progress. But at the corner of Sunset Boulevard and North Gower Street, Hollywood history lives on in a place called Gower Gulch. In the early days of Hollywood, Gower Street was the location of the very first movie studios ever built, followed by many Poverty Row companies and later bigger studios that we still recognize today, such as Paramount and Columbia. Within just a few blocks, everything from Oscar-winning classics to Three Stooges shorts were being created on a daily basis. In the 1930s, the Western was king. With so many opportunities for discovery and employment available in the area, real cowboys and aspiring buckaroos alike would arrive at the corner of Gower and Sunset each morning. The nearby Columbia drugstore had a phone booth where the prospective movie extras would call up the studio and ask if there was work available that day. Maybe the cowboy would nurse a cup of coffee at the Copper Skillet, hoping they'd be seen in their western duds and recruited for work. The idea was that if they were fully dressed in their western attire, the costume department on a set wouldn't need to add anything. They were ready to work and they could make five or ten dollars just by being in the right place at the right time. Gower Gulch was even the site of an infamous murder in which one Black Jack Ward gunned down western extra Johnny Tyke and walked away a free man. But now, some 90 years later, the real cowboys are all gone. In their place stands a monument for those who remember. Gower Gulch Plaza was built in 1976 and was fashioned to serve as a living reminder of those foundational days in early Hollywood. The entire building is meant to resemble a Western set and in the center of the parking lot stands a chuck wagon emblazoned with a Gower Gulch name right on the spot where the copper skillet once stood. But the magic really comes alive in the form of a series of portraits depicting the famous sons and daughters of Gower Gulch, which occupies an entire wall. Gene Autry, Roy Rogers, Dale Evans, and even John Wayne are immortalized in the very spot where they once got their start. It's true that Hollywood is always moving forward, but traces of the history of Tinseltown live on for those willing to seek them out.